Okay, so so let's move on to to the University of Queensland. Um, first of all, Queensland is is uh, you know the biggest city in Queensland is Brisbane, um, and uh, so is this is in the, the east coast of Australia. Um, the University of Queensland it's it's ranked number forty seven in in one of the um, global world university ranking uh, for twenty twenty two. Um, is, is highly regarded for arts and humanities and social science, um, and also um, for, for English language and literature. Uh, so why should you th think about taking this double degree program? Well, you again, like Missouri, you will get two world-class degrees in two world-class universities, and is a great international experience in one of the most diverse and welcoming countries in the world. It is safe, it is a friendly community, uh, currently, we have um, in the in the year uh, well, they're in um, year three right now. There are three students in the first cohort for this double degree program. There are three students um, who are enrolled. Uh, they um, they are really happy that they just found out um, that Australia is reopening up for international students, uh, but they're still waiting to find out uh, the exact arrangement on when they can go there, but they, but they will, you know, I mean, it was close because of COVID. Um, so uh, the, the program duration is it's four years. So, um, and, and it's four and a half years if you are in DMC um, uh, under journalism, because DMC, uh, which is uh, uh, data, uh, uh, dig digital media and communication, uh, they have extra requirements. Um, if you are in PRA, you get one and a half years at BU, one and a half years at, at Queensland, and then your final year will back, be back in BU. If you DMC on the, on the journal, then again, one and a half years in BU, one and a half years in UQ, and then one and a half years at BU. Um, so, the, the, so that extra amount of time that, that might be involved, uh, you will have to... Uh, uh, bear the cost yourself, which in Hong Kong is, as you know, is forty-two thousand dollars a year. Um, the quota we we are going to choose a small number of of uh, outstanding students, probably between two to four. Uh, as I said, right now the current cohort has has three students. You need a minimum GPA of three point two, and and just like for Missouri. Um, there are certain English requirements, so so um, you need a level four or above in DSE English, um, within uh, which has a five-year validity period, and an overall score of six point five, and at least six in each of the subband of IELTS, um, or any acceptable acceptable scores in any sort of equivalent tests. As far as tuition fees are concerned, uh, local Hong Kong students will pay the standard tuition fee of $42,100 per academic year. And if you're not local, then you pay the tuition fee charged by the University of Queensland um, out, of, uh, out of pocket yourself. The School of Communication at BU will re reimburse the cost of a round trip ticket, uh, economies class flight uh, between Hong Kong and Queensland. Um, so on top of tuition, there's uh, accommodation, uh, and this is based on off-campus um, single student housing, um, uh, which is about um, uh, between 33,000 to 123,000 um, Hong Kong dollars. Um, and, uh, and you need to take into consideration that further living expenses, which is between 42,000 and 69,000 Hong Kong dollars, plus health insurance, which is about 3,000. So, so total estimated cost uh, per year, if you're local is about 179,000, and if you're not local is about 342,000. So the application deadline for, for this double degree program with Queensland is at the end of January. Um, and then there'll be an interview process in late March, uh, and then the uh, results will be announced in late June. Um, yeah. So uh, Vivian, you want to talk about yeah. PRA? Yes. Uh, oh, you want to? <laughs> Okay, uh, for the PRA students, um, they need to take all together 
next page. Yes. Next page. Yes. Altogether, um, 24 credits at UQ and about 100 credits at uh, BU. Um, there is uh, a little bit difference from Hong Kong and in UQ, basically, um, one course is equal to two credits, whereas in Baptist University, one course uh, is equivalent to three units. So this is something that you might want to um, pay attention to. Uh, altogether, uh, you're expected to obtain a total number of 48 units, uh, 24 units to be um, uh, accounted from the uh, United um, uh, UQ, uh, Universities of Kuznins, and uh, also 24 units to be claimed at, at Hong Kong Baptist University. Basically, in UQ, there are three categories. Uh, you can see there are um, category A, B, C courses. For category A is the core major courses. Uh, for category B is for major, uh, similar to what we call as the required courses, concentration required courses. And then category C is the elective courses. Um, there are certain limitations as in, you know, how many credits that you have to take in each category. So um, uh, to be honest, we don't have much room to juggle uh, when we plan for this uh, study plan. And um, uh, since both universities, uh, UQ and uh, our universities has just recently revamped the curriculum. And then we found out that, um, you know, there might be a chances for students who take the PLA program uh, for the double degree may have to delay for one semester. Um, so um, that is something that you might also uh, want to consider because uh, right now when we uh, count the number of the credits, especially in um, year two and year four, um, students may have to take about like 21 to 24 credits, but there are limitations since our department only uh, allows students to take a maximum of 21 credits each semester. So that's why um, we expected students might have to delay. Um, so uh, you might want to discuss it with your parent as well. Um, shall, we, shall we move down to the next slide, please? Yes, we already covered this one. So this is the uh, courses that uh, you are supposed to take it in UQ. Um, like I said, it's, everything is tentative because uh, it looks like that they are still changing. Um, uh, so there might be a chances that um, the, the courses that you are expected to take in UQ may be um, also different. Um, but as you can tell, um, similar to uh, Missouri University's program, um, there are quite a number of the courses uh, which is non-PLA uh, because uh, the program is mainly skewed towards the PL side. So if you are major in advertising and organizational communications, there might be a chances that you might have to take more PR and other digital marketing courses. Um, so that's the reasons why, you know, when you come back in year four, um, there are a lot of courses that you might have to make up. Um, but having said that, um, uh, you know, we are trying to allow more flexibility uh, at the BU side. So if you, uh, Shireen, can you move down to the, uh, yes. So if you look at this, um, uh, this slide, uh, which are the courses that you are expected to take in uh, Hong Kong BU, uh, we already allow some flexibilities. Let's say, you know, the courses that you're supposed to take um, uh, as elective uh, could be translated to some required courses. So uh, we hope that you can, you know, somehow finish the um, university degree within four years. But like I said, you know, they are still revamping. Um, so just hoping that, you know, the changes will allow you to stay within four years to graduate. So that is um, about PRA program. Okay, so moving on to journalism. Um, so, uh, in journalism, we're targeting students in uh, Chinese journalism or international journalism under the general stream or uh, uh, DMC students. Um, so again, you get two degrees, which is a uh, Bachelor of uh, Communication by Hong Kong, from Hong Kong Baptist University and, and a Bachelor of Journalism from um, the University of Queensland. 
Uh, for CJ and IJ students, the first one and a half years, i.e. the first three semesters will be completed at uh, uh, in Hong Kong, followed by one and a half years in Queensland, and then the last year uh, back in um, BU. So it's a total of four years. For DMC students, the first one and a half years will be at BU, followed by one and a half years uh, in Queensland, and then one and a half years um, in Hong Kong, i.e. you're going into uh, doing one extra semester. So the degree will be completed in four and a half years. For journalism students participating in the program, uh, you need to complete bet uh, between 78 and 87 units uh, in Hong Kong and 24 units in Queensland, comparing um, HKBU degree uh, courses um, of 128 units. Um, the studies, as far as study schedules um, are concerned, in year one, semester one, um, it's 18 units. Um, in, year one semester two, also 18 units. These are done in Hong Kong. Then for the first semester in the second year, uh, you need to complete 19 units with the school core courses and major core courses uh, uh, while, while needs to adjust to uh, GE and elective courses. And then uh, semester two of year two and year three will be in Queensland. For CJ and IJ students, year four will be completed at back in Hong Kong um, and you need to complete between 17 and 23 units and for DMC students but, but for year four and year five semester one you need to complete uh, 30 units. So some of the things you need to think about for journalism students is that for both CJ and IJ students um, you have to so uh, taking part in the practicum. So in, in uh, IJ, it is uh, TYR, the young reporter, and for CJ, it is San Boyan, right? Um, you need to complete the practicum one, two, and three during the study period while you're in Queensland, um, while DMC students have to take practicum one in Queensland. So, so what does that mean? You know, for journalism students, it means that you are filing stories and then sending them back to Hong Kong and then we publish them here, uh, which means you have to be in constant communication with, with your student editors and your advisors in Hong Kong. For uh, CJ and IJ students, um, also uh, honors project is a graduation requirement in year four, semester one, instead of semester two, while DMC students have to take the honors project in year five, semester one. Um, also, CJ and IJ students have to um, uh, take journalism internships either in the spring of year four or the summer of year four. So typically, these are uh, for students who are in Hong Kong for the entire degree. These are done in the year in the in the summer of year three. But obviously, you you're not in um, Missouri, so uh, you will have to do them. Um, later. Um, students have to follow the study plan and fulfill the requirements of both university in order to um, get that double degree in, in the end. Um, do you have any question? Any Anyone has any questions? Yeah, Queensland is actually a very beautiful part of Australia if, if, if uh, that's where you are interested in. You know, plenty of open space. Of course, they're in the Southern Hemisphere, so they're, you know, inside out, upside down. So right now, uh, they're just going into their summer, the summer holidays is in December. So any questions, Jan? Uh, no questions for now. Okay. Do you think you're more interested in Missouri or Australia? Uh, Australia. <laughs> Australia. Yeah. So, so as far as if, if you're really interested, Jan, I suggest um, uh, you talk to, so I have three journalism students who, who are very excited about the possibility of going to Australia, maybe sometime between January and April. Uh, uh, they, they, on the whole, they have had very positive review. Um, I do get one girl who said that she finds the Australian accent a little difficult to understand, but she's getting used to it. Um, it's, a, it's a very international um, environment, the school. It's, it's got great diversity, if that's what you want to consider. But talking to those students, you might find helpful. Okay, thank you very much. 